But you are, yeah, as I said, and you just repeated, you are beloved. Uh, Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 nicest musical artists ever. Taylor. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Come in. For this list, we'll be looking at the musicians with the friendliest reputations. Have you ever met a famous musician who was super nice? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Jerry Garcia. The Grateful Dead doesn't have fans so much as they have devotees. And the band showed plenty of appreciation for their fan base, letting them record and share their famously unpredictable live shows. Garcia, the late frontman, was a perfect representative of the band's kind nature. Melvin Seals, organist for the Jerry Garcia Band, described him as the kind of person who would, quote, give you the shirt off their back. I mean, what we do is play for people, for warm human Why? bodies, you know, and we, we don't play so good for machines, maybe. This included Garcia having a chair Seals was fond of delivered right to his house for Christmas. Even as Garcia's fame rose, he apparently never got caught up in materialism. We're sad to know Jerry Garcia is gone, but grateful to know he was able to touch so many lives, then and now. Fire, fire on the mountain. Number 9. Alice Cooper Alice Cooper is a shock rocker, known for his provocative live shows. But the biggest shock may be his low-key lifestyle. Offstage, the singer, born Vincent Damon Furnier, enjoys playing golf and spending time with his wife of more than 40 years, Cheryl. We're not the power couple, but mm -hmm. we rely on a power much greater mm -hmm. than ourselves. He's also a born-again Christian who attends weekly Bible study. And if Cooper's music and wild persona once incited panic in parents about his influence on impressionable kids, he's since proven himself to be a positive role model. I started playing golf when I quit drinking. That was 32 years ago, and I had to find something that was going to be as addictive as alcohol. Alice Cooper's Solid Rock Teen Center, located in Phoenix and Mesa, Arizona, provides excellent support for youth, including free music lessons. Cooper's stage shows might be full of blood, but his heart is full of love. Number 8. Bruce Springsteen His nickname might be The Boss, but rock legend Bruce Springsteen doesn't act like he's superior to his adoring fans in any way. I'm like everybody <laughs> else, man. I'm like everybody else. Many of his songs are about working class folk, and Springsteen has shown himself to be a man of the people, even when he's selling out arenas. Springsteen packs more energy into his live shows than performers more than half his age, and his effort shows how much he appreciates his fans. Give me some slap. Maybe I'm a little over ambitious. Give me a cable. He's also not too big to play smaller venues. After appearing at Madison Square Garden with U2 in 2015, he performed at Wonder Bar in Asbury Park, New Jersey, with his brother-in-law's band. He may be born to run, but Bruce Springsteen won't stray too far from his roots. Number 7. Ludacris You might not want to play Ludacris's raunchy raps in polite company. But in his daily life, the Atlanta MC and actor appears to be nothing but a perfect gentleman. But I gotta know what, what's your fantasy to say. There have been multiple reports of the rapper, born Christopher Bridges, covering people's grocery bills, including a widowed woman. Get back, get back, you don't know me like that. Get back, get back, you don't know me like that. He also supports the youth with his nonprofit organization, the Ludacris Foundation, which helps communities through things like hospital visits, food baskets, and various education programs, including healthy cooking and swimming lessons. Because what I, what I try to do is give hand ups and not handouts. So I like helping kids that want to help themselves. So maybe he should think about changing his stage name to Generous. Number six, Paul McCartney. As one of the world's greatest living songwriters, Sir Paul McCartney could easily be conceited and arrogant. But the Beatle is reportedly a very kind man, giving small tokens of appreciation that make a big impact. Baby, I'm amazed the way you love me all the time. 
In a Reddit thread, user Sharkplug said an unprompted McCartney told them to, quote, have a great night when leaving the hotel they were working at. But that's, of course, certainly just one of many friendly interactions. Okay, are you ever going to live this down? I don't know. He's also supported many noble causes dedicated toward protecting the planet, such as Humane Society International and Artists Against Fracking. But the fact that these songs then get into people's heads and they have this meaning, I mean, that's the, be that's the biggest bonus. Maybe we're amazed at how one man can do so much good in one lifetime. Number five, Taylor Swift. She might have some choice words for her exes, but when it comes to her fans, Taylor Swift is reportedly a total sweetheart. If you had a superpower, what would it be? Healing people. A Reddit user said they once met Swift at a Cleveland airport, and that the superstar was, quote, as sweet as she appears, and that they talked for a few minutes. She also knows how to turn cruel situations into kind ones. After an internet prank resulted in a school for deaf people winning a concert from Swift, she donated $10,000 to the educational institution. There are plenty of other instances of Swift's philanthropic nature, such as giving $1 million in 2020 to help Tennessee rebuild after extensive tornado damage. In Nashville, a telethon raising money as celebrities step up, like Taylor Swift, who donated a million dollars. The haters gonna hate, but Swift is gonna keep giving. Number four, Beyonce. With record sales exceeding 100 million units and more awards than any other female artist in history, Beyonce Knowles is more than a pop star. She's a veritable musical icon. And she uses her fame and fortune as a means of lifting others up. She gave her entire $4 million salary from the film Cadillac Records to nonprofit rehab organization Phoenix House. She also started her own organization, Be Good Houston, to help her hometown during Hurricane Harvey in 2017, and gave $6 million to the National Alliance in Mental Health. In my hometown city of Houston, people need food, clothing, cleaning supplies, blankets, shoes, diapers, and formula for babies, and of course, clean water. Beyonce's impact is so great that even other celebrities like Anna Kendrick get starstruck around her. And she stood up, she was so nice, and she points to Jay-Z and was like, oh, we just watched you on the Kennedy Center Honors. You were so great, you were so cute in your little red dress. And she said that I had a little red dress, which means that she actually watched it, or it means that I was having a stroke and I imagined the entire thing. <laughs> but evidently, her fame hasn't diminished her heart in any way. Number three, Weird Al Yankovic. He's famous for parodying popular songs, but Weird Al Yankovic knows how to poke fun while still being respectful. Now I'm mumbling, and I'm screaming, and I don't know what I'm singing. Before recording a song parody, Yankovic first makes sure to get the artist's permission, even though he's not legally required to. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't necessarily have to legally, but you know, yeah. that's one of the reasons I think I've been able to hang around as long as I have, is I don't burn bridges and I want to make sure they're in on the joke. Lily Hirsch, author of Weird Al Seriously, described Yankovic as incredibly nice, and the late Kurt Cobain once wrote that he was, quote, America's modern pop rock genius. Yankovic is also willing to put his moral integrity ahead of financial gain, like when he turned down a beer sponsorship due to his young fan base. He might be weird, but that's not all he is. When you get, are you polite to them in that moment? You just probably act like, oh yeah, yeah. I'll get right to work on that. Yeah, that's the, yeah, yeah. I don't do that, I say that blows. <laughs> and then, that's why you're not beloved. Number two, John Bon Jovi. In troubled times, the singer of Living on a Prayer gives us reason to keep the faith. John Bon Jovi is nearly as renowned for his charity work as he is for his music. His John Bon Jovi Soul Foundation is dedicated to fighting poverty, with initiatives like the JBJ Soul Kitchen, which allows patrons to pay what they're able to. I think that was eye-opening for a lot of yeah. the community here that said, oh, there's no homeless people here, and they look around the restaurant and I say, I can name five people right now that I know are homeless. And he's not afraid to get his hands dirty. During the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, the rock star volunteered to wash dishes at his restaurant five days a week. There's an in-need population who need to eat. So 
but literally I'm in the kitchen washing dishes. To this selflessness, we have to say bravo Bon Jovi. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Devin Townsend. Chad Kruger described the metal singer as the most wonderful human being ever. Prince, the legendary musician, was also incredibly charitable. Only to see you Bono, the U2 frontman, is as famed for his philanthropy as he is for his music. Lots of businesses have this kind of lobbying power, you know, but where is the lobby for the world's poor? Freddie Mercury. Despite his dramatic stage presence, the Queen frontman was known for being quite down to earth. Want more music content? Watch Mojo produces an original podcast taking a behind the scenes look at all things music. The show provides authentic interviews with artists from all around the world, while also staying true to Watch Mojo's roots with top 10 music banter thrown into the mix. What's the best advice Alice Cooper's ever given you? Looking back at the staying power, does it shock you? Uh, no, we have naked pictures of the right people. If you want exclusive interviews with award-winning artists, producers, singers, songwriters, check out Inner Sleeve. Number one, Dave Grohl. He's been part of some of the biggest bands in rock history. There goes my hero, but Dave Grohl has always come across as a guy you can just kick back and share some laughs with. Look who, look who we just found hanging in the green room. How about that? Look at him, Dave Grohl. Got nothing better to do. Come <laughs> hang out. The Nirvana drummer and Foo Fighters frontman has been called the nicest guy in rock, and it's easy to see why, with actions like tipping servers $1,000, inviting fans up on stage, and supporting numerous charities like the Elton John AIDS Foundation and Teen Cancer America. Grohl once said, quote, the human element of making music is what's most important. You're reminded that music is flesh and bone. Like, this is three, this is real life. These are real people. Based on these good deeds, Grohl is everything a musician and human should be. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.